Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech along with my co-host Sundar and welcome to another episode of Ash Answers. Ash Answers is a show where we answer the questions that you ask on Twitter using the hashtag Ash Answers and it's also a show where, where he tries to poke me with the sim ejector tool. When he crosses the line. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the questions. Why aren't all the companies moving to USB Type-C? Faster the transition, better for everyone. Thoughts? Yeah, it's just money, 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 money. And the fact that generally in lower end phones, they, we did do this yeah. a little while back. Uh, for lower end phones, people are, they don't want to move from their existing accessories. So they feel some brands justified by saying, Asus did, right, at the yeah. Zen 4, 4 event. This so, is the episode we reshot because he deleted the footage. That's how I remember it. Yes. So yeah, two weeks back we did answer this question. I'm sorry guys for picking it. But yeah, that's what it is. One is money, two is sometimes brands justify it or they really feel uh, that in certain segments, micro USB might work better, more familiar for the buyers. It will kind of become like demonetization if every brand moves to USB Type-C at once. Oh yeah. Definitely. But then it's not like... Converters are gonna be unavailable and you'll have to yeah, queue up to buy <laughs> converters. This is definitely me 5X and how are you this morning? The comments of Ashan just have you in an amazing mood today. Oh yeah. So last week the comments were amazing. There's so many people who were going like this is the first yeah, time first I commented. Time commented. <laughs> so you know, this could be your second time commenting today, you know. Uh, hopefully if Jokes apart, but hopefully you've commented on some videos throughout the week. We did have like seven, eight, nine, I don't know how many videos, but a bucket load of videos. And here's a card to one of my videos that I did this week. Seriously? <laughs> I have to get a head start. There are only five cards. So anyway, guys, thanks a ton. And then it was really fun. There were a lot of people going, how are you? So that's like a, I love that question. So it's just like, I'm awesome. How are you guys doing? How's your Sunday? It is Saturday for me right now, but still, how's your Sunday coming along? How's your weekend been? Let me know in the comments and let's jump to question number three. What do you think about Moto G5S and G5S Plus? Is it worth the money? So G5S Plus does seem to be better value than the G5S. Uh, the G5S Plus is actually, it, it's launched thousand bucks cheaper than what the G5 Plus launched for with better specs. Whereas the G5S is launched higher than the... G5 the Plus the you mean the 32 gig variant of the G5 Plus? No, 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 the 64. No, 32, 32. 32 oh. uh, variant four of gig, the G5. 4 gig RAM 32. Yeah, it was both were 32. It was 332 and 432. They didn't have a 64 for G5, G5 Plus. Yeah, they yeah. didn't. 316 and 332. I mean, 432. No, it's 332 and 432. Okay. Isn't it 316? No. And a micro SD card slot? No. 332, 432. They didn't have a 464. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so it's it's good. Uh, I mean, of course, people who bought the G5 Plus would definitely be pissed and it's extremely confusing. <laughs> I get it, Apple has that, but then it's, I, I mean, I want to say G5S Plus and then I say G5S and G5 Plus. It's just a mouthful. Yes, G5S Plus does seem like better value than the G5S. Uh, people who did buy the G5 Plus, I mean, of course, I, I know it's gonna bum people out because it's been less than six months and they've, they've come out of the better phone uh, at a cheaper price cheaper than price. what they paid. So uh, mm. yes, it's kind of letting down the con consumers, but then it's good publicity. It's good. It's a good phone, a more competitive phone, a more competitive offering for Lenovo, Moto. So yeah. Hey guys, which is the best non-Chinese manufactured phone below 20k? That's not... Uh, it's not Chinese. Right? And that's not less than 20k. Around 20k, I can't say. Okay. It's $400. I know. Easily more than 20,000 rupees. Maybe it'll come cheaper to India. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Anyway, then uh, non-Chinese so phone, you'd have to go with... LG Q6. J7 Pro. J7 Pro, okay. Not bad. Q6, it looks good, but the J7 Pro has a, is, it's much more well-rounded yeah. Samsung Pay. It's got Samsung Pay. Mm, it's got an amazing camera. It's got an AMOLED display. Yeah. It's got a good camera as well, the J7 Pro. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, stabilization, Q6 would win. Yeah. It's got excellent stabilization, but barring that, the J7 Pro would do better than the Q6. But that's like a little over 20. It's 20,990, 20,500. Or you could look at the J7 Max or On Max. Yeah. Your favorite WWE theme He started music. swiping. 
I didn't, I didn't. I thought we were going to the next question. Okay. Your favorite WWE theme music. It better not be Nakamura because that's mine. Currently, uh, active roster, currently, as of now, it would be Nakamura and Finn Balor. Okay. What about you? Stone Cold Steve Austin? Okay, all time. Current roster. Uh, all time? Okay. Current roster? Current roster, no idea. I don't watch WWE. Under the videos. Under yeah, he's still current roster. He's always Maybe. current. Maybe. He might be <laughs> coming back. So, as per the latest rumors, he, he might come back. So, anyway, uh, all time would be DX. Yeah, DX and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock as well, but then DX. 3T to Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Is that an upgrade or, or a downgrade? It would kind of be a parallel move. Um, I could, okay, you know what? I could justify it as all, all three. I could call it a parallel move and I could give you reasons to justify it. I could call you, I could call it an upgrade. I could give you reasons to justify it. I could call it a downgrade. I'd give you reasons to justify it. So, uh, first off, uh, calling it an upgrade, I'd say it's got a better display. It's got a larger display. Better battery life, probably. I don't want to say better battery life. Maybe. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. And Samsung might support it's got an S Pen. It's got an S Pen. The yeah. digitizer. The camera might be better. Uh, camera? Okay. Oh, it's, I mean, not far. It, it would I know, but then. Or similar. More or less similar, but it has, uh, what do you say, manual controls for video? Note 5? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It might. So. Uh, might not. I don't know. I think it started with the S7, so Note 5 might not have it. Anyway, so I, uh, as a downgrade, I'd, uh, I mean, and of course, the 7420 is an excellent chipset. As a downgrade, I would tell you that the 835 is still better, much better than the 7420. 3T, 3T. It's 3T. Okay, the 821 is kind of better to an extent, better than the 7420. It's got more RAM, the 3T. It's got Stop a better selfie camera. Uh, the camera is definitely better on the Note 5. I was just thinking OnePlus 5 for some reason. So, uh... Now I'd say the megapixel count. Okay, not the megapixel <laughs> count. I'm gonna say the selfie camera is better. The rear camera is comparable. Uh, stock Android would be an uh, extra that I could throw in. And as a, and I would give you both these reasons and tell you it'll be a parallel move. So there you go. You could go uh, all three ways. And I'm pretty sure that's why you asked me the question in the first place. <laughs> but I'm really sorry, dude. It's kind of okay. Let me leave you can't all the sell a 3T uh, and no, buy a Note 5 by shelling out. Uh, no, 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 forget it's all it's that. Exchange. I'm just going to tell you uh, for me personally, 3T to Note 5, I wouldn't call it an upgrade. I wouldn't do it. People can give you a hundred reasons. Uh, I could speak both ways, but then me personally, I wouldn't do it. I'd wait either wait for the Note 8, which would definitely be priced much, much higher. But just because I have a 3T, I wouldn't upgrade. Thoughts on Mimix 2 by the leaks? Mimix 2 leaks indicate to a 6 inch plus display, yeah, Quad HD two. plus 18 is to 9 or 2 is to 1 aspect ratio, 6 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 84, 835, 4400 mAh battery. He knew one thing. I knew everything. But Dual camera said, to the back, but he couldn't talk about that. <laughs> and no fingerprint scanner to the front, he couldn't talk about that. And the bezels have gone even smaller yeah, now. even smaller. And he couldn't talk about that. And it's going to be a much higher screen to body ratio. And he couldn't talk about that. And the most important, most unique feature that, I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody knows about is the fact that it would come with me UI9. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, me UI9. Some leaks indicate to Oreo, which is very unlikely. Other leaks also indicate to a 836 chip, but given that the Mi Mix 2 should be announced September 11, uh, well, 836 hasn't been officially announced by Qualcomm yet. And given that we just, what is that, like almost nine days away, uh, I don't see that happening. So those are the different rumors going around. I would most definitely love to get my hands on the Mi Mix 2 as I would on any phone that's launching. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely love to get my hands on it. Uh, the Mi Max was a good good step in the right direction. How do you get music for your videos without copyright issues? Love them. NCS, no copyright sounds. We get it from Not there. Just there, uh, there are a few channels on YouTube who okay. provide uh, copyright free music. Okay, he picks it from other sources. Me, it's basically NCS and Lakey Inspired. Yeah, Lakey Inspired. Uh, Lakey Inspired music, I did buy some of them and a lot of them are free uh, it's on soundcloud you can take it in jordan reddington is the guy who comes up with that awesome music 
I really love his tracks. I feel they kind of blend in the background, and there's not a. I don't really have to look for the perfect track because most of his tracks work with my content. So that's what I pick, and I don't give Sundar access to like. <laughs> so he picks other stuff. Not, that, no, not that it's the reason, but. Or he just leaves without a track, in which case I'm forced to add something. I mean, when I want a like inspired track, I just don't add anything. Don't add anything. What's the story behind Arevel of Simajek Tapin? Did I miss anything? Okay, so I don't really remember. Can so, you refresh my memory? You don't really remember? Oh, all right, that's cool. <laughs> See, he remembers now. There you go. That's all it is. <laughs> So, uh, so basically, this is what happened, right? So every time we first set the camera up, and Sundar always tilts the mic towards him, his side. I never do that. Uh, and then I have to tell See, him. Yeah, I even call the other crew members and I ask them if it's uh, in the middle, right in the middle, and they all agree to it. Yeah, I turn, look at them, and Sundar goes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then what happens is, so this is kind of like the center, center, okay? And I'm sitting like this, and My Sundar generally really sits wrong. like this. So he sits like this, and when I ask him, he's like, "That's not the center." So I keep moving around, and when I move around, Sundar goes like this. So then, when I'm finally editing, I'm looking at it center line. It'll be what like the hell? This. I'm like, I'm like this. My 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 elbows are cut out. Sundar's in the picture. Then I call him, and he's like, "No, no." Then I show him, "Dude, look at it." He goes like. So then I go, and that's how this image actor came about to be. Is calling stock Android a feature? Fair, uh, cause MIUI, etc., have a lot of good features that stock doesn't have. Dude, everything is a feature if peop enough people want it. Stock Android is something so many people yeah. have been asking for over the years. And now that brands are giving it, of course they're gonna market it. Why? This people started asking, brands still kept doing custom UIs, and more people started asking, and finally the voices have come up. It's come to a point where. Brands feel that could be a selling point. Now that they are using it as a selling point, of course they are going to call it a feature. There's nothing unfair about it. Hey doggy, thanks for waiting till we <laughs> shoot to start barking. Anyway, what do you guys prefer, stock Android or any particular? What's your UI? favorite UI? Let us know in the comments below. My favorite is Oxygen Gen device. UI. Definitely not. <laughs> I don't. Gen UI is actually not too bad. I like it. Is, it. 4.0 is not bad. I've always I've been able to stand in UI. I don't know. For me, I, I like stock Android. I like Oxygen OS a lot. UI at times. I don't want to be on UI all the time. Uh, TouchWiz Touch is also <laughs> Samsung I mean, Experience. Whatever. Samsung Experience was awesome when multi window was like only meant for Samsung Experience. So even though it wasn't as fast as the others, I could always justify it by saying, "Hey, I've got multi window." Okay, but now that that's a stock nugget feature, it's like, okay, what am I? Getting with Samsung Experience now, and when I ask myself that question, that's when it hits me: Samsung Pay. <laughs> it's worth it. Samsung Pay makes it worth it. I love Samsung Pay. AMOLED versus IPS LCD. What's your pick? AMOLED. AMOLED. What's your pick? The only thing that makes TouchWiz or Samsung Experience <laughs> an experience worth having: AMOLED. Yeah. AMOLED fans since 2007. 2007 were the AMOLED displays. I don't know. I'm just gonna say AMOLED. I don't think so. 2010 Nine, is when I used my first AMOLED display. So yeah, 2010. Can you please remind uh, C4E family about Sundar's haircut tweet? Okay. I mean, if I read this question before reading it out, I would have skipped <laughs> it, <laughs> like I always do. <laughs> This okay. time. I'm just caught red-handed. Cool, dude. Explain it. You're wasting time. Hey, this is enough, right? This has already reminded people no. of, this, uh, of that tweet. Dude, come on, just remind people first. I mean, you're making me say it. I, I'm, I'm not making that. you do, Jack. It's just people ask a question and it's our duty to answer it, dude. Come on. Your duty. <laughs> Please retweet it until so, it gets to 2,999. After that, please don't. Yeah, there's like three thousand retweets, and I get to take a trimmer to his head. So that's gonna be fun. So the link is in the description. Use that tweet, retweet. Can we expect dual SIM in iPhone? What do you think? Not right now, at least. I think they might actually see uh, dual SIM is mandatory for. You know, iPhone, Apple's always been 
uh, thinking about how to make phones thinner, smaller, or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's why they brought micro SIM, mm-hmm. ma- made it a standard, and then they moved to nano SIM. They didn't bring it or make it a standard, but yeah, that's what you Apple guys <laughs> say. They came up with Touch ID as well to improve security, and they came up with rectangular phone to make it phone smaller. Like, good. They came up with apps. They came up with the concept of an app store. They actually came up with it, right? Yeah, they, I'm just saying they came up with it. They came up with touch screens, capacitive screens. They're the first ones to do it. No, they weren't. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. It. Get to the point. Come on. So yeah, r- uh, not right now, guys. Uh, at least for the. I mean, I don't know until uh, Indian consumers uh, complain, keep complaining about it. See, and it's Indian sales mm-hmm. uh, keep dipping. They don't have great sales in India anyway. Yeah, anyway, that that's the that's the point. No, but the point. Okay, here's how I'm looking at it, right? So it's like uh, in the US or in Western markets, it's more of a contract system. You're done. You go back. So they aren't getting new iOS users. They have the existing iOS users who are sticking to it. There's a bunch who sh- who jump ship from Android to iOS. There's a bunch who jump ship from iOS to Android. But if they wanted to get a larger base. Which I mean, of course, they haven't really focused on that. Whether it's Mac versus Windows, they've always been happy with the premium base. But then again, there's a premium segment of uh, users they could reach in China or India, and both markets are it's kind of kind of very difficult to penetrate without dual SIM support. That's the reason why even brands like Samsung or LG come up with dual SIM uh, phones. Maybe a couple of years back, I personally would have used the phone without a dual SIM slot in it. And now, well, let me just say this: I love Oreo. I thought of doing a Pixel XL revisited like okay I'm going to cut that out. I thought I thought of doing a Pixel XL second review kind of video and what stopped me from doing it is uh single sim single sim. Why I have so many phones to finish with dual sim. Then I'll have to use my data on my fo- uh, Vodafone sim and I do have data on it. I just don't know how much. I really don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't know what my plan is. Then I have to go check all that and uh, figure it. Let me stick to dual SIMs. So that's the kind of mentality. Uh, though I badly use my data, like if you look at my geo data use, it's like two gigs a month is what I would use. And those two gigs of that, like one gig would be on, uh, would be across the five, four or five days that I actually leave the office to go somewhere, and the other one gig is throughout the entire month. So I don't really use data, and I'm pretty sure my Vodafone SIM has more than three gigs at least, and it would be fine. But this kind of mentality, I really don't see. Uh, as in, it would be great for brands to come with double, dual SIM phones to penetrate the Indian or uh, Chinese markets. And if Apple wants to do it, eventually, uh, sooner rather than later, it would. They would have to come up with dual SIMs. Might not be for this release, but they'd have to do it at some point. At least that's my perspective. Agree, disagree. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Any new tech video series coming? Seven questions launching this week. This week. Yep, oh. Wednesday or something like that, or Friday. Friday probably is what I have it slotted for. It's happening. Why don't we see much of Snapdragon 652, 653, 660s? We see only 625s in most good, most of the good mid rangers. All the mid rangers use 650, 652 at one point, and then the upgrade was 625. Yeah. Uh, 660 is out, but it isn't available uh, yet. Uh, we've seen very few phones with 660, like the Oppo R11 was one. This is a this six. Th- the the higher variant, variant of this variant uh, Zenfone of this. Four is six sixty. This one is a six thirty. So we are starting to see a slew of six thirty devices now. So hopefully six sixty should be just around the corner. You'd see more of it soon. As I don't have knowledge about video shooting, can you throw some light on what are B rolls? B rolls. This is what B rolls are. Let's add a video here. Yeah. So yeah. this is a B roll. Like when you're talking. But you're not seeing the person's face. You're looking yeah. at this, something else. Yeah. This is a main role. So whatever. This is yeah. These are main roles. These are uh, I mean a roles. So nobody calls it that. But this yeah. is uh, where you're actually talking and talking into the camera. Then if you're gonna roll something on top of it to explain or something, yeah. that's a B-roll. B-roll. Your opinion on LG P30? I think it would be a better pick. I'm sorry. Just to uh, let me just to. Uh, add some more so let's say i'm just talking to you right now and my sentence is uh sundar always discriminates um. all right so i say something like sundar and then i forget what i'm saying then i go always discriminates so then instead of uh 
having a cut over there in which case it would look something like this sundar always discriminates where it looks awkward i would just put those two audios uh, stitch the audio together and throw something like this on top sundar always discriminates what exactly are you adding in there i don't know i will come up with something on the editing table <laughs> so yeah there you go that's uh, that's how birol's work now let's move on to the next question your opinion on lgb30 i think it would be a better pick over Samsung's Galaxy Note 8 if it launches around the $700 mark as rumored. Uh, I really highly doubt it. So here's what it is, right? Check out this video of mine on why I'm not excited about the Note 8. That said, even if the V30 launches at let us say something around the 4550k, not even 4550, 700 dollars is what 45, 50, 55, 58 that kind of uh, pricing, it would still be competing with the S8 and the S8 Plus. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the reason why I'm not really excited for the Note 8, again, check the card, but uh, it's because it resembles the S8 Plus so much, much. there's not a lot yeah. that's changed. But then again, the S8 Plus is an excellent phone. Okay, it is, as a Note fan, I'm not excited. That doesn't make the Note 8 a bad phone. And let's assume the Note 8 is priced ridiculously. Even then, the V30 will compete with the S8 Plus. It has the S8 Plus to deal with. And the S8 Plus is not an easy competitor to just push away. So the V30 has the has dual cameras that the uh, S8 Plus lacks. But And of course, the POLED display, uh, initial reports coming in indicate that to be I mean, not as good as the uh, Super AMOLED display on the S8 Plus, but somewhere close. Uh, LG's UI, Samsung's UI, Samsung's UI, people are more right, used to. Charges, fast charging, glass, good Samsung design. Samsung Pay! Yeah. So, uh, and of course, the S8 Plus is something Samsung's been marketing for a long time. And I highly doubt LG can match Samsung's marketing. They haven't done it yet. So, it would be a better pick over the Note 8 if it launches at around 50K, definitely but it would not be the best pick. It might not. I'm, again, I've not used the phone. I can't say for sure if it's gonna outperform uh, the 8890 rotating um, S8, uh, 8895, 8890, 8895 rotating S8. Uh, but again, let's see, let's see, let's see. This time around, I am really considering getting the V30. You guys tell me, do you, should I cover the V30? Would you be interested? And if you say you're gonna be interested, then you better damn share the video when I do it, okay? I'm gonna have to spend a bucket load of money. I don't wanna end up with a video that's got like 10,000 views. That's it. <laughs> so it's like, at least, I mean, you agree to do your thing. I will try to definitely, I will definitely pay that hefty premium and import it as soon as possible. So let me know in the comments. Which phone will be launched by Xiaomi on 5th September? Any idea? Mi Mix 3. Mi Mix 3. <laughs> <laughs> They're launching the Mi Mix 3 on the 5th and Mi Mix 2 on the 2 11th. On the 9th, 11th. Uh, so, no, it's... Probably gonna be the Mi 5X. Yeah, rumored to be the A1. Yeah, A1. Which is, which is again, rumored to be the Mi 5X with stock Android on it. Yeah, or it might be an entirely different, software. different smartphone as well. But then all rumors indicated to being the, uh, the A1, Android 1 phone from Xiaomi stock Android. If you're as excited as I am, I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I already asked you to hit thumbs up <laughs> on the Mi 5X unboxing and you guys did it. So I'm not going to bug you with that right now. But then if you are as excited as I am, let's all wait for the fifth. Always believe something wonderful is going to happen. Something like that. Show me tagline. Please do some videos on smartphone photography and tips. People get good spec phones, but don't use it to its potential. So do you guys want to see us do a how to use the manual mode on your phone kind of video, uh, how to use it to get the best results possible kind of video. If you do, we can do something about it. Yeah. This is one of the very few videos that we've done exclusively exclusively in the Tamil channel. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we actually did it in the Tamil channel. It's like one of the very few exclusives we've done. We could definitely do it uh, on a bigger scale, uh, on a larger scale on the English channel. If you guys want to see it, again, comment section. 8 in is to men's super tall display with 1080p or 16 is to 9 normal display with 2k. Read the question. I read it. You didn't even read the what will you pick part. What will you pick? Okay. Gosh, my gosh, answers. Okay, what was the opening? Can you read it? I didn't hear it. 8 in is to 9 super tall display. Huh? Say what now? Super tall display. Say what now? You super understand? Display. I can also see it and they can also see it. 
<laughs> oh yeah, so Sundar Dasne is the thing now. I, I've seen like at least 15 people, you know, ask me like, what do you, what's your opinion on Sundar Dasne's? And stuff honestly, like that. Uh, I like it. Honestly, he himself didn't expect it to go viral. <laughs> Pseudo viral on C for a deck at least. So anyway, yeah. I would go with the 2K or the 1080. 1080. 18 is to 9, 1080p display. Depends on the form factor. If it's going to be something like the Duji Mix kind of with thick bezels anyway, just call, just calling it a bezel less dis- okay. design with 18 is to 9, I wouldn't really care. Something like the S8? Something like the S8. Or uh, LG. If you have two S- okay, S8 with a full HD display or S7 with a quad HD display. S7 inch with a quad S7 inch with a quad HD display, I'd probably go S8. S8. Why? Because... There's uh, not a lot of difference between 1080p and 2K. I mean, to the... I mean, here's a video you can watch. Yeah, it's my video, Fully. so why am I filming? <laughs> okay, cool. First time, he generally doesn't push my videos, right? So, uh, yeah, it would... Uh, I would prefer the smaller form factor. And outside of VR... Outside of VR, uh, exactly. About 400 PPI doesn't really make a difference. About 326 about to be precise. Just because... See, I, I sheep. <laughs> can, you, can you hear the bleating in the background? I could, I, I can actually hear it. <laughs> I can hear it. I'm, you know what, if I actually had the time, I'd take a picture of you and Photoshop it onto the face of a sheep. <laughs> and paint the sheep re- in red. I don't know, if somebody has the time to do it, please do it. Why did you have to say this? Harris <laughs> is actually gonna do it. <laughs> yes. Even though he has a lot of, he doesn't care about that. <laughs> he wants me. He wants damaged. He wants me. Is what you said. Damaged. Should I consider selling my G5 Plus and buy a G5s Plus? Given the same situation, what would you have done? I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it either. Nope. I wouldn't. I'm not that impressed with the camera because camera is the main selling point of the mm-hmm. G5s it's Plus. It's not good. I haven't. Played. It is good, of course. It, it it is good, but compared it with the Mi 5x. I didn't find it to be excellent. Okay. The Mi 5X and seems you, to have a better camera. And a you also bit. said that it was like slow or something? Yeah, the shutter response is slow. Compared to the G5 Plus? G5 Plus and Mi 5X. Okay. And under low light, the G5S Plus takes even more time to click a picture. Whereas on the Mi 5X, it's super fast. It's quite fast. Okay. Shooting experience was definitely So what way else does it have going for it? Double the storage, which you can always more have. More metal, but do you really Doesn't actually really matter. care? Yeah. Uh, same amount of battery, but a larger display means it might take a hit. Yeah, yeah. You have no, to use no, it. I would, I would actually say, see, today if you're choosing between a G5 Plus and a G5S Plus, I'd say pay the extra money and get the G5S yeah, Plus. Okay. Again, I haven't, te- I haven't finished my review on it, but on paper, it seems like the better option. But if you already have a G5 Plus, hell no, I don't think you should upgrade to a phone with the same internals. Yeah. Lighting tips for YouTubers. If you have something, let me know. <laughs> Lighting is the hardest part, dude. It's extremely annoying. It's 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 extraordinarily annoying. It's a lot of uh, what do you say? Um, trial and error. So we keep. That's why you see a couple of videos looking good, couple of videos being meh, uh, and suddenly I get I get I get messages from people asking like, why do you have an Instagram filter on the video? <laughs> so that's when like the lighting was really bad and then I had to save it in post and that's the best I could do in post so yeah stuff like that happens so for now now we're just using regular old CFL lights and some lights on top CFLs again to light it uh, we are looking at moving to professional aperture lights and I don't think that's going to make a huge difference in, unless and until we have the know-how so uh, TETSIM from aperture is been really super cool about answering my questions with regards to what to buy and uh, helping me get them set up. So I'm going to be buying, uh, I'm going to be getting those lights. uh, And let's see, hopefully, you know, professionals could give me advice on how to set it up once we move to the new office and you'd be seeing better lit videos from us. And hopefully we could answer this question in the future. Yeah, in future. Your opinion on Windows 10 running on Snapdragon 835 as shown on the demo video? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've read the news. Uh, but before I proceed with this, I'm going to ask Sundar for his opinions on it. That's exactly... I didn't... Yes, he got time to <laughs> I looked spend at you the I know, I noticed I it. That is exactly why I... 
he gets Means you shouldn't ask me the questions he gets time guys he gets time to go through the questions i barely got any time this time i would have given you time you were the one okay okay anyway coming back coming back coming back so it's basically uh unlike the so uh unlike the previous uh attempt from microsoft wherein there was a whole surface rt uh you know the weirdness this time around it's going to support all x86 apps as in software whatever your regular ex is you could still install it on a device that's uh running on snapdragon 835 so it has pros and cons the pros uh, what i'm really high about is the fact that see a phone with an 835 takes this much space so on a laptop well it's going to leave a lot of room maybe bigger batteries and all that the second thing that i read about that i really liked is that you know a35 is a more integrated solution so you could even have support for sim cards and what not uh, yeah. and again the standby drain is extremely minimal on a35 so when you translate that maybe you could have like you turn your laptop off uh, as in you just turn off the display and you still get mails and notifications and all that because of the superior standby uh, standby drain i mean the longer standby times so you could still get push notifications and stuff your laptop beeps you open it and you check out check your mail out or you have a voice assistant that says you've got mail like on the movie you've got mail or whatever anyway coming back uh so that those are the good things but the negatives is uh you know it doesn't natively support x86 so it's going to be emulated x86 support which means the performance might not be there so uh let's see let's see how it works uh how the first batch works before if if the implementation is good then this might be the best things that have happened to laptops in a while because you don't you know for those laptops where we are saying core m on they could be substituted with uh qualcomm solutions which means uh it could be uber thin uber small of course i don't want a smaller than 12 inch display on a laptop because that absolutely defeats the purpose of having a laptop i could rather get a tablet and a keyboard but then again think of maybe much uh, longer battery life maybe 3 day i mean 2 days of battery on a laptop that could be reality apartment hunt update so this video uh and i'm kind of bummed out for various reasons and one of those is this it's just too complicated we are still i mean it's not like it's not not happening it is happening but it's moving on at a snail pace uh so i've been kind of like bummed out about it and uh, this video i've been like pushing myself to not go so hey guys ashia from c4e tech so yeah this question we don't have any answers for you we don't i would really love to have an answer for you but we don't it's still under processing redmi or lenovo considering their current offerings and indian launches right now it would be lenovo because xiaomi has not had an offering in a while yeah redmi note 4 is the last one and the g5s plus is definitely a better phone of course it's more expensive uh uh it is more expensive but it is the newer phone it's got uh, i mean it could it could be better it's got as in dual cameras and stuff which weren't really so common when the Redmi Note 4 came out but then again um, my answer would hold cut till this till yeah, September, September 11th. 11th after which we might go back to Xiaomi September 5 September 5 11th is me mixed too yeah planning to import Galaxy S8 from Dubai will Samsung provide me international warranty and will I lose anything like quality support in India Samsung will not provide you international warranty but yeah. uh, you Volte will not will lose warranty warranty will work on the S8 and S8 plus because you tested it what won't work is Samsung pay okay you know right i don't know you didn't know i didn't know that i didn't know you helped me get a no the, S8 for my dad yeah but the S8 it did get an update for Samsung pay right it did I know I thought it did I'm not sure but yeah, when sure I either. had it at that point of time Samsung Pay I didn't even test it I mean it didn't have the feature at all okay. so I didn't even care about it because it wasn't there on the Dubai S8 okay so I thought I it got know, updated I'm I don't know sure. I'm not sure about this guys uh I mean I'll prob if you guys if you have I'll probably add it to the description or something uh it would the no no warranty yes warranty but anybody else looking at importing any other samsung phone don't take it for granted 
because phones before the SI did not support Volt E as in the A7 20 whatever that the A whatever the uh, whatever phones A5, we imported A7 A8, 2016. 2016 2017 A5 and A7 none of them supported Volt E do you think the trend for bezel-less phones will end soon, just like the trend for slim smartphones, which no nobody talks about today? It's still people are still going after slim smartphones. It's just not people are people are just not talking about it. The same way, at one point, the bezel-less design would just become a part of life, probably because I don't see uh, people going back to 16 to 9 now. 18 to 9 or 18.5 to 9 seems to be the way forward. Okay, but the trend for slim smartphones. Kind of died, right? Not really. I mean, Z2 so, Z2 Play. Z2 Play, that's because of the, the mods. I know, everybody has come close to the 7mm mark now. Yeah, okay. Okay, even a mid-range phone like a Xiaomi Mi 5X is what, 7.3, 7.5mm? This is 7.5 or something. I don't remember. 8 point something, 7 point something. I don't know. Everybody's around the 7mm mark. Okay. Pause. Pause. <laughs> what am I saying? Past. Past the 7mm. Okay, I was about to say past the 7mm point is like the point of diminishing return. So then the past and the point became like post. So anyway, that's we are we're getting past the point of diminishing return. So 7mm we kind of stabilized at. So maybe 18 is to 9, somebody would try at 21 is to 9. 21. You remember the old the, the, the memes, the iPhone memes. 21 is to 9 is the cinema. I know. Thing. Yeah. I think if somebody did a, did a phone like that, <laughs> it would be like uh, yeah, I know, I know. the memes, the, memes, the, yeah. I, uh, the iPhone memes. When like, uh, uh, from iPhone four, 3 to 4 and 4 to 5, only the height uh, it, it changed. Yeah. just got taller and not wider. Yeah. So 3 to 4 were, it didn't get wider, but 4 to three, 5 it did three, get 3 to 4 it did. It didn't get I mean, wider. Sorry, four, uh, four to five, five. It died. Yeah, four, it did. 4S to 5. 4S to 5. It, to five it did get wider. Yeah. No, 3 to 4 was wider. just one road. One no, road getting wider. 4s to 5, not, it didn't get wider. 4 inch to 4.7 inch. No, 4s to 5, no, sorry. Yeah. 5s to 6. 5s to 6, it did. Yeah, but 3 to 4. Wider and it, or 4 to 5, it did. Whatever. I don't remember. 3.5 inches to 4 inches, it just added an extra row. Yeah. And 4 inches to 4.7, it did get wider. Yeah. So many phones, so much <laughs> confusion. Do you think Nokia did a suicide mission by launching its products so late in the Indian market? Selling out in four seconds, is that, does that look like suicide to you? People are still buying it. People are buying it. It is out of stock. So I really don't think it's weird. I mean, of course, they're not giving you the best value. And of course, yeah. they are launching it extremely late, which is super annoying. But then again, people are still buying. So uh, Nokia is still making a profit. I don't think HMD Global is going to be too bummed out about the response. Why every YouTuber wear t-shirts? Because if every YouTuber I mean, wear shirts, wear wore shirts, then you'd have a question saying why, why every YouTuber, YouTuber wear shirts. Wears. That's exactly why we wear t-shirts. What's more important to you? Good hardware underneath or good software experience? As we don't get both in mid-range segment. A couple of years back, I would have said good hardware underneath. But right now, I'm going to go with better good software experience. And good software experience, it's all... It, it comes down to personal preference, right? Like... We just spoke about that. That's How why he asked what's point. more important to you. Yeah. Personal preference. What's your preference? I mean, we can't say we don't get both in mid-range segment. For someone who likes stock Android, we have the G5 Plus and the G5S Plus. For someone who likes, say, custom UI, MIUI, uh, especially, we have the Redmi Note 4. No, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get where you're going with it. See, uh, what I was trying to say is a couple of, a couple of years back, uh, there's a phone with stock Android or something like that. Okay, uh, uh, not very I mean, unmodified Android or something like that. And uh, then there's a phone which has good internals, but the UI is like probably TouchWiz or something. It's not really great uh, or something. At that point, I'd always pick the phone with the better hardware because we could always root it, get some ROM on it. But today, when you look at it, even a 430 handles well for day-to-day -day usage. So something like a Nokia 6, the software makes it usable. It's actually quite good to use. Okay, so that way, these days software, uh, uh, what do you say? The software experience does matter a lot more. <coughs> I mean, not more than the hardware, but then it also plays a big part. If two phones have like more or less similar hardware, 
if one has a hardware edge but the other has a software edge i'd go with the software, software edge. edge but if it's like drastically different you're looking at 835 with shitty software uh, and a 430 with extremely good ha- we have okay you finish 835 with crappy software and a 430 with excellent software i'd still pick the 835 or 820 in case of the z2 plus which is exactly what he was about to say and i got that before him yeah. <laughs> no i was hashtag about- sundar silenced <laughs> I was thinking of a different example though. Honor 8 Pro has good software as well. Yeah. What's it, wrong it, with them UI? It does, but compare it. I mean, that's that's exactly what I'm saying. Honor 8 Pro with uh, EMUI and uh, S8 with Samsung, Samsung Experience. The Honor 8 Pro is faster, but the hardware isn't as good as that on the S8. Sundar, not silenced. Yeah, Sundar silenced. <laughs> so that's it. Now Sundar will self-silence as we move to the outro. Let's <laughs> see. So, um, um, so I guess that those are all the questions that I picked for today's episode of Ash Answers. If you liked it, if you absolutely adored the question choices, do give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like the question choices, do try again next week and give this video a thumbs up. If you like the way we answer this answer the questions this episode to give this video a thumbs up if you hated it you can still give this video a thumbs up but anyway i know it's getting tiring but if you found this tiring give this video a thumbs up and for some reason you want to put the video down to that i can still say this whatever if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button down below if you have already subscribed hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live and for every like remember someone somewhere is pricking sundar with a sim ejector tool uh, so give this video a thumbs up it's not painful these days you don't have to do that just to prove a point anyway that's so, it thanks a lot for watching this is sundar and ash from c4 etech Leaving for the moment. With the head shake. Leaving for the moment. I didn't see it. So you just, you used to ask me to do the <laughs> outro and then you like gradually took things to this point where I need to do the head shake now. <laughs> and people are asking you on your videos, where is the head shake? <laughs> okay. And of course, guys, uh, if Wednesday, 8 p.m., live with Ash, be there. If your question has not been picked, you can ask it on Wednesday. I would answer it live 8 p.m. Uh, so, yeah, be there. That's it. So, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Sundar Ash from C4E Tech. Leaving for the moment. Have okay. a nice day. Oh, yeah, and of course, uh, I, have, I kind of forgot. Um, we are getting uh, probably, um, I don't know what, uh, I did order a case for a phone. I don't remember which phone that I'm getting next week. So let's all wait for that. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time. <laughs> this is Ash here from c 4 Tech along with my co-host Sundar and we are... Uh, what are you doing? Let's finish the outro, dude. Leaving for, for the, the moment. moment. Didn't I already say that? Have a nice... Oh, and of course, uh, what do you guys think about the memes? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep making you. I, 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 <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay, okay, this time, this time for serious, for, for real. I've, I've done it already. I know, but then for real, let's, let's like, you know, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year's Ash along with my co host Sundar. With a serious looking face. Faces, we are leaving for, for the, the moment. moment. Have a nice day. <laughs>